There were four horsemen of the apocalypse. I think they're all here. Four riders, one mission. Avoid humiliation at all costs. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got wine. I thought it was going to be DI2 and a, a F8 or something. I'm allergic to bread. God, I can't, I can't even lift it. Oh, you know, that is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, this is going to be amazing. Oh, it's like a sofa. Don't clench too much, you might get some gluten inside you. Yeah, I'm not feeling this. Oh, I tell you what, you can't get out of the seat on this. Look at this. I've got a speed wobble. Look at the speed. Look at the... This is what it must have been like racing in the 90s. It's number one on the bike, sorry, but <laughs> is it going to be number one today in the finish? Well, I mean, I'm quite confident of my form. Like, I've, I've been doing quite a bit of riding. I feel quite good. Great stuff, great stuff. Let's move over now to Mr. Tom Last. Uh, Tom Last, is it last by name or last by nature? <laughs> Both. Okay, and now moving over to uh, Matt Stevens over here. Matt, you've got the uh, National Champs lines on your bike there. Is that going to speed you up to up the, hill, up the hill today? Well, Kev, it's really good of you to ask. I mean, I've had a, a bespoke frame done, especially for this race, as you, as you've, as you can spot. But uh, I think the red wine, really, will uh, take me through to the end. Okay, and I'm uh, moving on now to uh, Mr Lloyd. Dan, you've got your name on the bike there. Looking yeah. good as a custom model for yourself? Uh, well, I sort of carry them around in my uh, bag with me, just... Um I mean, I just put my stamp on things and lay claim to any bikes that arise, so this won't be going back. I'm pretty confident, actually, for today. It's days like this you count your blessings and not your chickens. Anything can happen, and it probably will. Matt Stevens, looking like the pressure is building. It's not Christian Puron waving the flag, but it is a start, and immediately it's Matt Stevens that's putting the hammer down. So much power, he snapped a pedal. Oh, sod it! Tidy work from Dan Lloyd. Obviously, no deposit on that can, and it's into the first turn. Oh, shit! Shit! No, I have to stop! Oi, stop! Matt Stevens proving there's hope for Dan after a remarkable comeback following Pedalgate earlier. He's right back in the mix. Matt Stevens, heart of gold, hair of someone else. Former policeman, his ears to the ground, even when he's standing up. Matt's doing a track he's checked behind, kicks again, hugging the wall like a first date. Oh, I'll wine! <laughs> oh, he's chucked his load in the excitement. <laughs> Si Richardson with a baguette grenade as Dan Lloyd uses beer power to bridge the gap. Here's our race leader, Thumb dialing in more power from the batteries. It's quite a look, Mum's socks, Dad's shoes and Granny's knees. Remarkably, race radio calling all together. You up for... I want you to set an, a good pace early on, put them both in the red. You up for it, mate? Three hundred. Oh, you want a beer as well? You have to admire Dan's sheer nerve, but Tom has been bought, and it seems he's anyone's for cash in a tinny. <laughs> Matt offers up a cackle as Tom turns finance into cadence. I'm getting dropped. Tom can't shake him. Rattle and roll all over the place. Tom proving money can't buy you everything. Lloyd attacks, visiting the wall even though it's not Friday night. Dan dangles one into the corner as Cy struggles to follow. Oh, and Matt snaps, cackles and pops. Dan Lloyd, body of a greyhound, eyes of a jackal, liver of a blue whale, impeccably shaved, comfy shoes, smooth downstairs on two counts. Dan's dishing it. Some serious questions to be asked here. Where's Lasty, mate? Oh, I don't know, I think he, uh, I don't know, he just, he went hard and obviously he went too hard too early, he just sort of blew up, he's, he's off the back, I think. It's Tom, thumbs down, no fairy tale. It's Tom Last, here he is, here he is, come on, come on. Tom Last, are you pulling out the race? Was it Tom Last always last? Yeah. 
Okay, back to you in the studio. The GCN train down to three carriages and it's coming through. How to pick a winner from these three? It's like picking your nose after a stage in Beijing. Anything could pop out and it probably won't be clean. <laughs> Stevens plays the Joker Batman style. He's first to roll the dice. When Matt's in this sort of mood, he occasionally wheezes himself, so nobody wants to get too close. Matt's run out of juice and so Richardson engages brogue power, leathering it skywards. Dan's on his case though. Can he bridge the gap? What? What do you mean no? Oh, is he struggling? Matt bears his teeth like an egg-bound chip, but has he got any movement left? Out of beer, that means fear. How will Dan Lloyd respond to the cyborg up front? What a turnaround. Not only takes a bite out of the gap, he's having a feast. Lloyd powers alongside and attacks. A remarkable push. Bang, party over for Dan Lloyd, he tried it all. Tactics, power, endurance, bribery, alcohol. In the end though, there can only be one winner, and it's not Dan Lloyd. The face of a broken man. Simon Richardson, he's taken some scalps on this mountain. Well, two and a wig. What a race that was. It had everything, even batteries. Uh, uh. Good race, Dan. Don't forget. Put on, mate. Great race, guys! How does it feel to have won? Oh, God. I just, you know, gave it everything. Gave it absolutely everything. And it's just, you know, it's too soon for it to have sunk in yet, really. Number one on the bike and number one at the end of the day. Simon Richardson there. Daniel Lloyd just peeped to the post. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's like the first time, kid, that I've actually ridden an electric bike and obviously I mean I gave that everything so there must be some big discrepancies between mates because that was the bike that wasn't the body. Matt. Hey Kev how you doing mate? Very good actually how are you? Yeah I went pretty deep I don't know about the sweet spot I just I just found the spot. In third place it's Matt Stevens. <laughs> he's brought his own wine <laughs> and in second place it's Daniel Lloyd Dan, you've had a few too many beers, so it's the party fizz for you. Well done, Dan. Good. Yeah, it was close, mate, yeah. And our winner overall of the Colden Manone Electric GCN Bike Challenge, and officially the fastest GCN presenter on an electric bike, it's Simon Richardson! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fair play, Great mate. Matt. Fair play, mate. Good, yeah. good lad. Oh. There you go, Si. Si, highest up the hill and up the wall. And like after any party, Dan finding solace in a fountain, while Matt stays flat with a quality red. <laughs> None of them have done that before. <laughs> to follow GCN, click on Cy and Dan. And for more Coke to videos, <laughs> click on Matt. <laughs>